number of victims in the bus crash in northern Uganda has risen to 19 dead and 21 wounded. Local sources reported the crash happened during the night. According to the police, the cause could have been a stationary trailer parked in the wrong place at a popular stopover in northern Uganda. <laughs> An entire neighborhood buzzing in preparation for a wedding. In this courtyard in Yaoundé, Cameroon, this family has started a special ceremony. It is henna time for the bride-to-be and young women and girls. They'll stand out with elaborate or simple henna designs on their skin. In Cameroon, henna is called sifa. It is used before the feast of Ramadan and Tabaski Aydel Kabir. It is also used on occasions like baptisms and weddings. After the leaves of the henna tree are dried and powdered, water and oil are added. Henna is applied in liquid or powder form that is rubbed on the skin. On Wednesday and Thursday, which usually mark the beginning of wedding festivities that can last up to four days, the bride-to-be joins other guests adorned with henna and wearing traditional clothes. For my wedding, my mother, my sisters, my cousins, all of them used henna. My grandmother and my aunt drew henna tattoos on me. The powder is sought after because it is easily accessible and cheap. But for some Muslim Cameroonians, what matters most is the symbolism. On the occasion of the ceremony taking place at the end of the Quranic reading, girls usually do henna because they are happy. Henna powder also protects women from diseases and infections. They can apply it to their hair, they can also use it for face masks. The art of henna has been practiced in South Asia, Africa and the Middle East for over 5,000 years. The Ebola outbreak in Uganda is coming under control, announced Africa's top public health body on Thursday. According to Africa CDC, it had been 39 days since the last confirmed case of the virus had been reported in the country. The center's acting director, Ahmed Ogwell Uma, told the briefing that if no new cases were reported in Uganda by January the 10th, then the outbreak would be over. Officials first confirmed the Ebola outbreak in September and said it was the Sudan strain of the disease for which there is no proven vaccine. The Ebola outbreak took around 70 days to control with 142 confirmed cases and 55 deaths. A French Rwandan man sentenced in Paris in 2021 for complicity in genocide has been released from prison pending his appeal. Claude Mohaimana was released from detention on December 21st and placed under judicial supervision as court considers his appeal. Mohaimana's lawyer welcomed his client's release, saying it was necessary as there was no information on when the appeal would be determined. The 61-year-old is accused of having transported gendarmes and inter militiamen to the sites of massacres of Tusis between April and July 1994, where tens of thousands of people were killed. In December 2021, Mohaimara was found guilty by a judicial panel of complicity in genocide and complicity in crimes against humanity. He had become a naturalized French citizen in 2010. The M23 rebels on Friday handed over the Rumangabo army base to East African regional forces after nearly two months in charge. At a brief ceremony held at the facility, a rebel representative said the gesture symbolizes the group's commitment to peace. A summit held in the Angolan capital last November ordered the rebels to vacate all Congolese territory under their occupation. They took over for Rumangabo, uh, la uh, prise de Rumangabo signify yet another critical milestone uh, signifie donc uh, de montre un pas en avant on this uh, going effort 
sur ses efforts en cours pour restaurer la paix et la stabilité dans l'est de la RDC. The Romangaba base, located in the Richuru territory, fell to the rebels in November. In December, the rebels withdrew from another strategic town of Kibumba, but have since gone on to capture more territory. The Congolese military has called the withdrawals a sham. Thank <laughs> you.